Hi, my name is John Bartlett, and I'm the VP of Professional Services at Integrify. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Managed Task Type Report. At the Integrify User Conference this year in Austin, we covered the uh, Summary Type Reports, Task Type Reports, Chart Type Reports, and also Custom Type Reports. But one of the participants had raised um, the question about the Managed Task Type Reports, which we did not have on our agenda. So we wanted to create some content around that and make sure it was available to the participants of the conference and ultimately um, all Integrify users as we'll end up posting this on our uh, help site, help.integrify.com. So what is a managed task type report? A managed task type report allows you to include task management operations in a standard user report that would typically be reserved for administrators only. So for instance, if you want your users to be able to reset task, redo task, reassign recipients of an active request, this is a report that would allow you to do that. The, the real useful feature is it allows the users to, um, to realize those capabilities without making them a full administrator. So, Typically, if you had a request um, that was in process and for some reason a task needed, let's say, reset, right? You would have to reach out to the administrator, communicate with them about the situation. They would have to go in and perform the operation and then um, get back to you and yet let you know it's done. Um, with this approach, that power is in the hands of the end user. So let's go ahead and we'll jump over to an instance here and build out one of these managed task type reports. So I'm gonna jump to the instance we used for um, the Austin user conference reporting sessions. And you can see here that we have some requests um, that we developed for the conference. And what we wanna do is be able to allow one of the users um, to be able to come in here and, and manage the, one of these requests without being a full uh, administrator. So a full administrator is going to have this option here, right? Manage request where they can perform some of these operations, but a typical end user wouldn't see this. So we provide this operation through the report itself. So let's go ahead <clears throat> and create a report that will allow us to do this. So we'll jump here to our actions menu, select reports, select add report new, and we're going to call this uh, Austin User Conference Manage Task Report. Um, we'll drop it in our Austin User Conference category here. <clears throat> and for a ta managed task type report, you must return rows of task. And we talked about this quite a bit in our other reporting session, the difference between the difference between request type reports or request type reports, task type reports, and custom type reports. But the key message here is you want to create a task type report. And then of course, we wanna select a process to report on. So we'll go ahead and grab the loan request workflow um, that we used for the conference. I'll go ahead and select save, and I'm given the uh, re report detail here. Um, I'm just gonna jump right to the columns here so we can keep things moving. And for, so for the first step in creating a managed task type report, we need to add a uh, specific column. So I'm gonna select add column and we'll just call this column manage task. And for the source, we're gonna select current task here, but there's a specific column that we want to select, and that's ID for manage task. And this must be the first column of your report. So I'll go ahead and select that. And then another key uh, configuration component here as well is to go down to the formatting option, and you'll see towards the bottom here, there's a task manage link, and we want to select that. And go ahead and select save. <clears throat> I'm gonna change the limits of this report uh, just to pull in some more data, data for us. Uh, let's actually go back a ways here. I'll just save that. And you can see, even with this one column, if I go to report preview, that I'm giving, getting several tasks back. And this is the column we created. 
And you can see some of those um, administrative capabilities here, like I can set recipients, uh, reset task and redo tasks. So in its, in its essence, that's really how you create the managed task type report. But let's go ahead and take this a step per further and add some additional columns because without those additional columns, there's really no context around it or reference around the report. So we'll go to columns here, add an additional column. Let's uh, put in the current task name. So we'll just call this current task, go to our source, select current task name here. And I think I'll just call this task name instead. <clears throat> We'll save that and I'm just going to add a few additional columns. I'm going to add in the request ID. And if you're curious about how any of these columns are configured, you can uh, review the other session we had at the user conference. Um, I'm going to add in the uh, task status. Should be an option for status here. And just a couple more. We'll add it in the uh, date the task was assigned. And I'm going to make that a short date for display purposes. And then finally, one more column here. And we'll just call this uh, name. This will be the requester's name. So for re requester name, you can just select requester and then it'll provide all the attributes available for that that user and then name okay so um the other thing i want to do here is i'm going to um sort this report on the date that items were assigned so i'll just uh, select the default sort to be descending on the current task data sign and save that and now in our preview of the report, we should see a bit more data, right? So we still have the manage task option here, correct? But we also have the task named, the request ID, the status, when it was assigned, and the requester name. And you can see we've got about 376 rows being returned in this report. And, and as I look at some of these, um, um, uh, I, I know that some of them are milestones as well. Like, uh, for instance, uh, actually, let, let me uh, let me put in one other thing. Instead of the requester here, I'm going to put in. <clears throat> I'm actually going to put in the request name. Instead. I think that'll help in this view. OK, so we've changed the the data being returned in the column to the request name instead of the requester name and, and that allows us to see a few things here a bit easier it allows us to see that there's several rows of data being returned um, for an individual request right these are all 6482 um, and that's because there's multiple tasks in the workflow that have executed we, ha we haven't limited um, what type of task the user can reset within this workflow. Um, but that's typically something you're going to want to do. Some of these might be milestone tasks, or some of them might be tasks that you don't want the user to be able to reset. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. We'll add in those filters. Um, we'll set up this report so, so only the manager approval type task or the loan request form type task um, can be uh, reset. So we'll come into filters. I'll select add filter and we'll say current task name must be equal to loan request form or current task name column here must be equal to manager approval. I'll save that and I have to change my operator here. And you can see that now when I return the report and preview it, I've only got 113 rows instead of 300 and some. So um, it's limited our report pretty significantly. And you can see here in the task name column, instead of seeing out some of those other task names, I'm just seeing manager approval and loan request uh, form type task. 
So let's take this a, a step further now <clears throat> and actually reset one of these requests. So here we can see the loan request form, um, the loan request form task for SW Industries. I'll go ahead and let's just look at the request first, the flow view. And you can see that it's at, at the manager approval task stage. The loan request forms all already been completed. And we'll say for that for this scenario, for whatever reason, we need to reset this loan request form. Um, so we'll jump back to our report here. And we can do that via the report now. Um, here's the loan request form for that SW Industries. And I can, I can um, just go ahead and select reset task here. And you'll see now that our, our returning results are have been reduced by one because there's no longer a manager approval task. Um, that original loan request form was reset. And if we look at this flow view, we can see that these are no longer active um, and it's been returned to the re loan request form uh, for input here. So uh, let's jump back to our report. So that's an overview of how you can create these managed task type reports. And again, they're really powerful. Um, similar capability to the managed task feature that's built into Integrify, but you can provide um, this capability to users within your organization that are not full Integrify administrators. If you want to see any more about this, we do have a link on the help site as well. If you just navigate to help.integrify.com and search for manage task, there'll be a step-by-step -step, um, instruction and some content around uh, how to develop one of these. Thank you.